You're watching a recap from Investor XP, the show that covers investing for gamers. Check out the video description for details. It is Tuesday, May the 9th, and we've got some great topics coming up today. Uh, we're discussing Zombie Chronicles, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Alibaba. We're going to give an update on our performance for the stocks we've picked since the show started. And we're going to talk about Amazon's new Echo device. So all of that's coming up if you're watching live. If you're watching one of the recap videos that's posted on YouTube, those are the other topics that are coming up today. So go ahead and check those out if any of those interest you. So uh, bear with me today. I'm a little under the weather, so it's going to sound a little scraggly today. I apologize. We'll try and keep all the topics uh, short and sweet today. Yesterday, we discussed uh, Tencent as the Facebook of China and I really like the stock. I'm glad uh, people left the comments in the video uh, to say, hey, check this out. What do you think about it? Uh, I had only briefly heard about it and it's a really good speculation. So we decided from there uh, what we were going to do is look at um, the different companies that are basically have a large American equivalence. Um, so we're looking at uh, Alibaba, Tencent, and Baidu. And yesterday was Tencent. Today, we're going to take a look at Alibaba, the Amazon of China. Um, I, when this came out, there was so much buzz on this stock. Uh, it was absolutely ridiculous. Um, I stayed away from it, and... Um, they had some accounting issues early on, and it really looked like this was going to be a bad news uh, stock. And it certainly has not turned out that way. Um, they they have put that behind them, and they're gearing up that this could be another uh, good speculation here. So let me pull up their uh, their Yahoo profile here. We'll just take a quick look at what they've got to offer here. Um, close this ad here. So fundamentals aren't bad. Uh, here's their max chart. You can see where they had dipped down. Uh, certainly, you know, they had the strong buzz. They dipped down, then they spiked up. Um, price to earnings is 55. A lot cheaper than Amazon. Amazon's 100 and something uh, times earnings. So not bad there they actually have uh, some a sound balance sheet too uh, <clears throat> which I was a little surprised to see um, operating margins 30 percent um, profit margin on 26 27 percent they do not pay a dividend which I don't like I don't invest in stocks usually unless they pay a dividend uh, 20 billion in cash only 13 billion in debt I was a little surprised to see that. I thought they would be extending themselves a little more, which that's, you know, that's a good thing for me if if they've got a sound balance sheet like that. So um, I will link to all of this in the description. Um, they have, you can go to their website and they've got it translated to English all about uh, their company and their investors relations. And let's book uh, we're going to pull up their last uh, report that they put out there. Um, it's interesting, this company, it's almost like they're trying to quickly get there to the level of Amazon. Uh, Amazon was really slowly uh, rolling out these different groups in the cloud computing and things like that uh, to where one day it almost felt like we woke up and uh, Amazon is dominating cloud services and making a ton of money off it uh, where it's almost like Alibaba's they see the success that was going on in Amazon and they're like we're going to get into all that and they are doing it in a big way uh, so you can look at that and they shows their growth uh, big on big growth in the cloud uh, mobile they are they're really pushing a mobile payment system uh, kind of like what Apple has, and it's going to be a competitor for them. So that'll be interesting how that plays out. I know Apple wants to uh, get into China in a, in a bad way. Um, 
but they're ha- they have decent revenues and uh, they they have a uptrend in just about every aspect of their business. Um, I thought that they would be a little bit more all over the place, um, but they are certainly making it known that they are not just a online retail play. Um, so here's their core core online retail, but this is their cloud computer, digital media entertainment segments. Uh, they have an innovation segment, uh, and there's here's <clears throat> how their businesses are all laid out. There's their core e-commerce, cloud computing, and they break it down in the U.S. dollars. They're showing a little bit of a loss there in some of those segments, but they are actively trying to grow them. Um, see their digital media entertainment, innovations, um, so they are there in just about every way Amazon is, um, and their stock is, is just going up and up and up. So, um, there's also an article I'll link, um, at market list. It, it breaks down some of the financials of them there. Um, and they talk about, uh, their growth in American jobs. When Trump uh, took office, uh, Jack Ma, who's you know the uh, the founder, CEO, chairperson of Alibaba, um, he met with Trump to pledge job growth in America. Uh, you know, talking about a huge investment there. He's a multi-billionaire, um, so they are looking. Um, with this job creation pledge to kind of globalize their company uh, and get into America. I I think if it made it so that small businesses could get into China with their wares, uh, that would be uh, great for very small businesses here if they were able to go global real quick. Uh, I don't see it happening that way. I see it the other way uh, where they're going to try and... uh, get some American distribution centers going on here. But um, the end of the day, uh, I put Tencent on our speculation list. I liked them. They pay a dividend. Alibaba doesn't pay a dividend. Um, I'm going to pass on them. But there's a lot of things to like about this stock. Let me know what you think. Uh, is it? Are you better off just, you know, going with Amazon at this point? Uh, or do you take a slightly riskier uh, proposition with Alibaba um, and try and get your return? Let me know what you think uh, in the comments of the video. Interesting stock. It's just not my cup of tea. Well, that's it for today's show. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already so that you get the uh, first, you're first to get the latest news for investing for gamers. We are live Monday through Friday, 1.30 Eastern, 12.30 Central. Tweet us at InvestorXP. Shoot us an email. It's mail at InvestorXP.com. And let me know your stock opinions in the comments below on any of the recap videos. Really interested to hear uh, your takes on the stocks that we discuss. Or if you have another idea for stock, send it to me. I'll review it on the show. Uh, I want to get the discussion going, and I want to build a community Uh, of people that typically would not be investing in the market. And I want investors to, you know, show them what they're doing so they get an idea. And people that are interested in it, uh, maybe start to see some ideas. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you tomorrow.